Take a look at this dinner table. You are looking at an authentic Hopi spread cooked by my gracious host, Iva Onestua. Here's some fragrance. Um, what I make here is how many students made with white corn and lamb. We also have batipsiki that's made with beans and sweet corn. And there you have the piki bread. Also joining us are a family of tourists. They are here exploring Hopi culture with their guide, Micah Loma Amvaya and Janetta Honey of the Miss Hopi pageant. At the center of her meal is the traditional Hopi piki bread. Hopis more often roll up the parchment-like piki and dip it into things like these beans. I have asked Iva for a closer look at what it is and how it's made. Okay, we're gonna be making piki bread today. And what we use is blue cornmeal. And this is fine grind blue corn. Um, this is what we use to make the batter. So why is it blue? Well, there are a couple reasons why piki can look blue. Micah showed me one reason before the meal. This one is called sakwapu. This is another very hearty, drought-tolerant variety of Hopi corn, and this also is very important to our way of life. Iva tells me another reason for Piki's unique color. What we do is add ashes to the batter to give it a blue color. Iva mixes her batter well, which is also made up of blue corn and water. As you can see, it's like almost like a pancake texture. Earlier, she carefully prepared her mesquite fire to heat her griddle stone. And now I've moved closer to my picky stone. I'm going to use lamb brains to grease in the stone. And because I'm starting, my grandmother always told me that the first, the first picky that I take off the stone goes into the fire. And we um, ask the fire to help us finish this batter. What I'm doing now is I'm laying down the blue corn batter on the stone. It's put on very thin. It's a really thin bread. And this picky bread is used in all the Hopi ceremonies from baby namings, weddings. I'm thinking it must be painful to have to spread and turn the batter on that hot griddle. But Iva tells me she's developed little calluses on her fingers. After all, she's been making piki bread ever since she was a little girl with her mother. Piki bread tastes like corn chips, but without the salt. And a little thinner than the corn chips. It's a really thin bread, so it's crunchy. You can eat it with just about anything. Some kids put um, milk in it for corn cereal. It's really good. Iva often invites people to her house for a traditional Hopi meal. In fact, a visit to Iva's house is one of the highlights of a Hopi tour designed to help introduce visitors to the tribe's people, customs, and traditions. It's another fascinating experience just off an Arizona highway in northern Arizona's Hopi country.